Daniel Kish is blind, but he can see using sound quite simply by clapping his hands or clicking his tongue. To be able to tell where things are, what things are, um, what kinds of surfaces things are made of, contours, shapes. The echolocation technique is self-taught. Mr. Kish is now travelling the world teaching others. What have we found? The door. The door. This week he's in Newcastle, his classroom a local park. I believe that humans are hardwired to do so. I think that it just takes the right uh, experiences to activate that capacity. Lauren Henley relies solely on her cane to see. She's looking forward to mastering the technique. It really does give you that sense of exactly what your environment is made up of and it makes it a lot more easy for you to navigate around the obstacles. Mr Kish is in Australia on the invitation of Guide Dogs New South Wales which is encouraging clients to use the technique to better experience their environment. We give them opportunities to go bushwalking. We give them opportunities to, to go on cycleway walks or beach walks and they get more out of it. Lauren Bladwell, NBN News.